Oh, this is a big pain actually. Uh, so I, I, I inspected this guy. The old one has the screws that attaches this flange to the motor, but I don't see anything here. So I'll take a part of, of this fan first and inspect. I think I'm gonna use some lube. A little bit. So actually I use the, this is the, how we call that? The uh, push pin uh, remover. This is really nice too. I, I, I really appreciate it, got it. But I use this one pull out this pin and this fan, your fan itself, blade has to pop out. It's plastic part, so you have to be very really careful. I cannot believe this new port doesn't really fit. Okay, toward the end, I decided to tap the shaft like this, and now it's shaft and, and the fan is flush. I will keep on tapping it. It's, it's tough, I don't have to. So oh, it's tough, I don't have three hands and, and I don't have vice. So. Okay, I think I have to do something else. Okay. Now I put the M4 nut there at the center. Okay, I hope this works, it's center punch. Well, I think tapping shaft is safer. If you have a vice, you can probably, but still, vice have to clip this plastic guy. It's coming a little bit. No, it's bending. Amazing, it's, it's crazy. I 
a small hammer. Here we go! Huh. I think I spent 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Okay, so the motor is removed with flange. And it looks like this flange it's you know has this this bracket part and but it doesn't look like it's welded. I think it's glued. So what I will try to do is it's try to loosen this. Maybe I'm gonna use this lube uh i think this lube had some 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 a little bit of, of of decomposing some some glue or something gunk but yeah i'll try uh maybe heat up let's see how it goes uh, i'm gonna put some lube Let's try this. Doesn't move at all. All I need to do is twist this guy though. It's, I think these are it's the mark. The, the pinning mark. It's not really that screwed in, or it's just the indentation that is holding. Oh, I hate this. Okay, I think I can make something. Okay, so I made this. Hopefully. Oh, this, okay. And now I think it's a little bit safer. This half is harder. Interesting, I see the loop is coming out from the other side. That's a good sign. So it looks like it's not really, really, really glued. It's more like just the indentation. Oh, great. So actually I noticed some scratch marks on the motor like this. So I just, I don't know if this scratch mark might be uh, made while during the manufacturing process <laughs> or some actually popped out once and tried to put it back in. I don't know, but I'll try to pop out and rotate. I try to rotate. I, I put this guy on the on, on the car, and and that actually hold this part and try to rotate this with with hands and also with the uh, like a oil filter flange. But I didn't. It didn't move. So I decided to do the same way. Try to remove this guy this way by tapping, I think, put this way, 
top it. I'm gonna protect this part. I can't believe it just happened. It was one of the easy job, just replacing the blower. This work. What I'm gonna try to do <clears throat> is go to my my company and uh, use some other tool like a vice. I don't I don't even have vice here, so I'm gonna use the vice and, and the torch map gas to heat up the flange and try to loosen it up and, and rotate it and, and to you know to make it a fit i hope this is gonna work okay my company let's try this i think this will not work let's try this Okay, uh, so I'm back from the company, but the, all I found is it's impossible. Actually, don't even try this. <laughs> uh, so the, what I tried first is to you know, put this on the vise and, and heat it up and try to turn this, the motor, it never worked. And then after that, I decided to use a lathe to chuck it here and, and burn, then turn the lathe and the burn with uh, this part with the map gas but the, I was worried about damaging the motor because if motors get too hot you know the, the insulation the inside and also magnet this is a DC motor so the magnet is uh, can be damaged so I gave up so I'm gonna go with the plan B so I got what I got is this hose so blade hose and uh, it just got the size right size that gonna go into it and go 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 like this I don't like this bent but the, I hope the air will gonna go through enough and put this the copper tubing I think half inch copper tubing go with this and connect it to the other part I will probably chop up a little bit adjust the length of the host and I hope this is gonna work. <laughs> 